Hi and welcome to this lesson where we're going to talk about the adverse effects of sulfa drugs and how they can lead to an allergy. So here are three common sulfa drugs that often cause uh, sulfa drug allergies. Ferrosamide, which is a loop diuretic, hydrochlorothiazide, and sulfonamide antimicrobials. Now they all share this sulfa moiety, which is what causes the allergic reaction. Here's a list of the drugs uh, that cause sulfa drug allergies. I encourage you to look at those because many of them will be covered on step one and the comprehensive basic science exam. Mild reactions include fever and maculopapular eruptions, while severe reactions include drug-induced hypersensitivity syndrome, or DRESS, and Stevens-Johnson syndrome. With uh, DRESS syndrome, uh, the features include fever, lymphadenopathy, eosinophilia, leukocytosis, neutrophilia, monocytosis, and the involvement of at least one of the following organs, liver, kidney, respiratory system, and heart. So if you suspect a sulfa drug allergy or a drug allergy in general, it's important to note that sulfa drug allergies can lead to these reactions, but these reactions are not limited to sulfa drug allergies. They can be seen in other types of drug allergies. So with the DRESS syndrome, um, in addition to fever and these rashes and these other features here, if the liver's involved, you'll see elevated liver enzymes. If kidneys involved, serum creatinine, BUN will be elevated. If the respiratory system's involved, you might hear wheezing or crackles, which suggest edema. And if the heart's involved, you might see elevated cardiac enzymes or an altered ECG. With the Stevens-Johnson syndrome, that's pretty dramatic uh, necrotic skin lesions, and we won't talk in great detail about that. It'll be covered in another lesson. Suffice it to say, this is very severe, and it's not it's it's easy to diagnose uh, following uh, this type of drug reaction. Let's turn our attention to. Uh, how sulfa drugs lead to this um, alert allergic reaction. So it's considered a type 4 hypersensitivity reaction that's not mediated by anti antibodies. Rather, uh, the drug or metabolite is taken up by a dendritic cell or an antigen presenting cell, and then it is processed and complex with major histocompatibility type 2. So that complex is then presented on the membrane of the cell, which then interacts with receptors on CD4 positive T cells. A closer look at that interaction sh shows the major histocompatibility type 2 uh, complex with the antigen interacting with the T cell receptor and the CD4 co-receptor. So for potential answer choices, you want to memorize this interaction and the cell types. So once uh, this interaction occurs, it creates a signaling cascade inside the CD4 positive T cell that leads to the exocytosis of cytokines, which then bind either white cells or macrophages. And they bind a non-receptor tyrosine kinase, which then leads to the activation and proliferation and migration of white cells a closer look at the difference between non-receptor and receptor tyrosine kinase signaling uh, is important because you will see this on step one and the comprehensive basic science exam. So these two types of receptors are very similar. They differ in that the receptor tyrosine kinase, that the monomers contain kinase activity on the receptor itself, whereas the kinase activity for the non-tyrosine kinase receptors comes from the jack enzyme that's phosphorylated so basically in either instance uh, once the ligand binds the monomers they form a dimer and for the non-receptor tyrosine kinase that dimer former forming of the dimer attracts phosphorylated jack 
to uh, bind to the receptor, and then that promotes the cross-phosphorylation of the receptors, which leads to the activation or phosphorylation of STAT. Once that's phosphorylated, they form a dimer, and then they are translocated into the nucleus where they bind DNA and promote transcription. Uh, conversely, the receptor tyrosine kinases, uh, again, they have two monomers that form a dimer once they bind the ligand, and that then causes the autophosphorylation of the monomers, which leads to the cross-phosphorylation of those monomers that activates the GRAB, RAS, RAF, MAP kinase pathway. Um, if you want to memorize, uh, uh, for, uh, well, for example, this whole thing won't always be presented, but the RAS, the RAF, and the MAP kinase are classically represented on questions. And again, so the MAP kinase migrates in and then activates transcription factors that bind DNA and then promote transcription. So once that occurs, there's an inflammatory response. It's a white cell or a macrophage or eosinophil. So again, the take-home message here, it involves CD4 cell activation of uh, macrophages or white cells, and it does not involve antibodies. Uh, again, there's a long list of uh, sulfa drugs, and these are the clinical features. Thanks, and good luck. <laughs>